23 ABC News Midday starts now. Good morning and thanks for watching 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. I'm Amanda Mason. Our top story this afternoon, the wildfires devastating California. I'm in the city of Las Marias and this is one of the four houses that completely collapsed during Hurricane Maria. Fortunately, everyone in these houses are safe. Reporting in Puerto Rico, I'm Amanda Mason. We start this evening with breaking news out of East Bakersfield. A deputy suffering injuries following a crash. And the lockdown is over. It is safe to say that they found no evidence at all of an active shooter. A man accused of going on a shooting rampage and killing five people in Louisiana is now in custody. This is the breakdown of the two storms and the differences. Now tonight, the snow level will drop almost down to 4,000 feet. The difference between red blood cells and platelets are that red blood cells last on the shelf for 42 days, yet platelets only last for five days. Following a crash that involved 11 people on the grapevine this morning. This was the scene around 7:30 a.m. We're currently at 48 degrees, but we are seeing these temperatures drop. We're going to see some sub freezing temperatures actually Tuesday early morning. We'll get ready for a cuteness overload. Some people have show cats, some people have show dogs, but what about show goats? Yes, Jess, I'm live here at Pioneer Village. We're safe Halloween. There's over 50 different stations, and I'm right here with the Flintstones. We've got a system, so we've got water over here and Gatorade over there. So let's see what temperatures we're cooking up today. We're expecting a high of 63 degrees. Batman has never given his gadgets to Gotham police, but it looks like officers in Florida have gotten their hands on some. It's called the Bola Wrap, and officers in Florida took turns giving it a shot. The Kern County Fire Department search and rescue responders are training for a large scale disaster. And in order to simulate exactly how hard it is to find people after a disaster, they're using 24 eggs like this one to symbolize the victims that they'll be saving. We need to head inside, maybe take a movie day. Yes, this is actually great indoor binge watching weather. It's going to get colder right now. It's actually 48 degrees outside, but it's going to continue to drop down in temperatures overnight into our low 30s here in Bakersfield, and then it'll warm up for the rest of the day on Sunday, and that's mainly because of this hard freeze warning that we're seeing across the San Joaquin Valley, and we're learning new details about a water main break that has residents in Northwest Bakersfield under a boil notice watch this weekend. 23 ABC's Amanda Mason live tonight from downtown Bakersfield, where that alleged animal abuse took place. She joins us now with the latest on the investigation. Amanda? Yes, Tim, well, video surfaced of a woman that looks like she's dragging her dog on a scooter on this street right behind me in downtown Bakersfield. Now, I want to warn all of you that these images and videos may be disturbing. The, the little dogs can't run that fast. This video going viral after a neighbor released these surveillance videos of what appears to be a woman dragging her dog behind her scooter near 20th and A Streets Sunday afternoon. Brandon Sanders said he and his girlfriend were riding their bikes and saw the whole incident. I couldn't tell what it was, if it was a pet or if it was just something that she was dragging. He said they were yelling at her to stop. Finally, when I started getting real close to it, uh, it popped its head up. And it wasn't making any noises or anything like that, so it was kind of surprising. And then as I got up closer, I could see all the bloody paws, and um, that's when I kind of didn't know what to do. Sanders said he asked the woman what happened and if she and the dog were okay. She responded. It happens um, just like it does with kids. And we told her, uh, no, you don't drag your kids behind a scooter at 15 miles an hour. And then she kind of pulled the scooter over to the side and set the scooter down and she was just looking at her and I'm saying her because she was calling her mama. So I'm guessing it was a her um, and she was kind of looking at her and then she reached down and, and kind of fidgeted with her for a minute and then she finally picked her up and that's we were asking her, you know, what are you doing? What, what were you thinking? And she told us to leave her alone. 23 ABC has chosen to blur the woman's face because officials have not arrested or charged her with a crime. Sanders says he and his girlfriend followed her for 20 minutes and called the police while she was carrying the dog. Sanders says he grabbed some photos of the dog because he wanted to have proof for the police. Um, and as I came up beside her, I was taking the picture. I was on my bicycle and she was walking and she looked at me. And when she saw that I was taking her picture, she smiled at me. Um, 
kind of a smart aleck smile. So I think that's what a lot of people are really upset about as well, that she's smiling, holding Yes. Uh, I'm not going to say that what she did was intentional, but it was very negligent. Um, she, I mean, she had to have dr drugged the dog at least 100 yards before she even checked to see if it was still there. And that's just from what we saw, from the point to where we actually saw her to where she stopped. We knocked on the woman's door, but no one answered. Um, I love animals. I love all animals. Um, and I just believe that they should be cared for just like a, a child. And Bird has released a statement regarding this incident tonight. We find the video to be deeply disturbing and are appreciative of the community for bringing it to our attention. This type of writer behavior is wrong and prohibited by Bird. As soon as we were aware of this video, we began our own investigation of the incident and have suspended the account for the individual involved in this incident. Now, BPD are still investigating whether this was animal cruelty or not. In downtown Bakersfield, Amanda Mason, 23 ABC.